Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Two close friends get together to travel across the desert to perform. Uh, and they pick up another friend of theirs, who I'm not particularly fond of at first, so there's a little uh, bit of a problem there, but uh, it's about their journey and what happens along the way before they get to that place to perform. It is a high energy show, and I thought the Broadway show was, but our director, David Rotora, really wanted the audience to care about the characters, so that we have highs and lows in the show, and that it's not always hitting a, a peak all the time. My character in particular is, is unusual because she's a trans woman. Certainly something I've never played before. I've gone from 6'2 to 6'5 and <laughs> it's, it's very different. I just had my legs and arms waxed today. So that was very different. Really different. I know I can't buy Christmas. His name is Adam, uh, and his drag name is Felicia, and uh, he's sort of the young, sprightly character that keeps the older gals on their toes. There's a, a huge uh, high heel that rides on top of the bus, and so I get to do a number in that shoe, on that bus, uh, while, you know, flying at 60 miles an hour or whatever. So that's, uh, that is my favorite. I play a character called Tick, and his drag name is Mitzi Mitosis. He's not transgender like Bernadette, and he's not as openly flamboyant, say, as, as Adam, but he's right in the middle. I think about him every day. No thoughts are cheap, Tick. Get your act together and head for the Alice. It's time to meet your son. Tick has not seen his son, but he very much wants to control the situation about how he meets his son, because he's for sure that his son's going to be like, what are you doing, Dad? I do like my floor show dress, but I like my flip-flop dress as well. It's just like covered with flip-flops. And I have this hair This makes me like seven feet tall. Bitch. This is Tick. You came! I told Mom you would. I'm one of the divas, but I'm also playing Mary and the wife of Tick, uh, who um, at wants Tick to finally meet his son after eight years and gets them all to come out and do this, you know, show at her casino. It is all our fun, but there are some serious, beautiful moments in the show that um, are very, very, very touching. I just never took the time. When Tick reads a bedtime story to his son uh, and he sings uh, Willie Nelson's You Were Always On My Mind, gets me every time. They reckon your ladies could use a mechanic? Yeah. Bob the mechanic, he's an old hippie actually. He answers a call to help these three main characters out because their bus is broken down. Your fuel line's blocked and the injectors are stuffed. Resist comment, please. I myself even came into this project thinking that it was just going to be flashy musical, you know, with big costumes and everything. And it has all of that, which is great. But it's also a heartfelt musical. It's got a beautiful message about acceptance and tolerance and love. Oh my God. Oh my God. 